Good afternoon. It is Mystic Intellect, and I am here to do a collective reading on the fire signs. Fire signs, all right? We're going to look at what's in store for love this month, for the month of March, not for February. For the month of March, we're going to tap in to see what is in store for love for the fire signs for the month of March, okay? Let's get started. So, there's a thief here. So, somebody needs to watch out for someone in the connection who is involved in some type of legal thing. Somebody could be dealing with a partner that's toxic, that is that likes to steal, um, and that is not very honest about where they get certain things from or what they do. I'm seeing some type of legal transaction probably taking place and it's just not it's not it's, it's i mean a, a, a transaction taking place and it's not legal and so someone needs to be mindful about that i'm also even probably just seeing a liar cheating thief altogether like somebody's in a connection that's a lying cheating thief and they should not be trusted um and from the month of march i'm seeing that there could be some travel for many and expect to have a great time because you could also meet your partner on this trip that you are planning on taking. Um, there is a masculine who could be in deep thought about their divine feminine and they are possibly in a, I heard, turmoil from spirit. Uh, and they're looking to make a change in this correct in this connection. Um, expect great change for the month of March um, for love fire signs because it looks like there's going to be a like someone is going to be coming in very very fast with the high honor card showing up here and they're going to want to take things to the next level because they're tired of the games. Yes, so great fortune is here for the. Uh, for a collective of fire signs who have been doing the work, who have been trying to manifest a better outcome for their connection and are looking forward to better uh, new beginnings in love. So with the fortune card here, the great fortune, I'm seeing a lot of positive energy for a collective of fire signs here. I'm hearing leo there's some leos out there who have been making some really great strides i'm also seeing finances improving and then someone here there's a divine feminine who is going to come in contact with a wealthy man who is actually going to help push your business forward i'm hearing aries and sagittarius here for that one yeah there's someone who is very very wealthy and it's and they're actually there they want to they may want to invest in your business as a form of support in the beginning and then moving forward they're gonna like try to check you out in other ways and see where things go last but not least we have expectation here number 28 so it looks like there's gonna there's gonna be to avoid conflict spirit is saying stop setting high expectations for a person or a connection because when you set yourself up like that you can expect not expect it but you can kind of like manifest a disappointment so spirit is saying to make sure that you don't set too many high expectations for people because people can be very disappointing last but not least with the community card there could be a marriage or proposal happening a gathering of family and friends who are going who could be surprising the divine feminine with a proposal 333 also showed up on the clock so that shows an alignment here and number 39 is showing up here on the card so that's what's showing up here for the fire signs here let's go ahead and tap more into what else is in store for love for the fire signs all right uh let's go ahead and see okay let's go ahead and check out this romance deck here so spirit please show me what's in store for the fire signs for the month of march in regards to love spirit is wanting you to have faith because um you need to trust and believe that love is here to stay this time around don't let fear and doubt interfere trust the divine trust that things will work out because a lot of you guys worry a lot and it's showing up in your energy. And so you want to make sure that you are not focusing so much on the actions, but focus on the energy. Listen and reflect. Sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. Ooh. Yeah. Spirit is wanting you to um, have patience because 
Um, great things take time to evolve and develop. Why the rush, they said. There's no need to rush. Divine timing. Enjoy the journey because it is worth the wait. Um, oh, yeah. So your person, Spirit is saying, is going to be having a spiritual awakening in the month of March. Um, it looks like it's now, it's happening now, but it's bleeding into the month of March. So your partner is going to be sensing that there is something profoundly important about this connection. And so that's why sometimes like separation is needed so that a person, so that both counterparts can learn and grow from whatever has, that has happened in the connection and then realize like, Hey, why am I doing this? Why am I playing these games? Why am I doing, you know, feeling like X, Y, and Z when it's really not that. Like a lot of people in this collective are going to be experiencing a lot of kundalinis. I'm hearing and five four five did just show up here and um spirit is saying that for the month of March it is time to make a move. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move. Um I'm hearing that it could be you honestly receiving Instead of doing, I'm hearing that, yeah, your person's actually going to make the move. So you don't have to do anything, but make sure that you're doing the work on yourself and making sure that you are putting in, putting all that good energy and time into your faith, into your uh, spiritual growth, because you've done, I feel like, like, cause there's a lot of fire signs who take a lot of accountability in a relate in the relationships that they're in. And they actually are very like I'm seeing a lot of you fire signs being leaders in the relationship. You guys lead more. You guys do more of the talking, the more of the planning, more of the you know what I'm saying? More of everything. And it's kinda like natural for fire signs to invest more energy because everything is like everything you do is like kind of like from a passionate standpoint because you're you're full of fire, you're full of passion, you're full of energy, and that energy comes from a really good place most majority of the times with six five six showing up on the clock. So, spirit is saying that somebody needs to take accountability for their actions. So, in nine times of ten, I'm picking up the energy. It could be definitely be your partner or even both of you. So, acknowledging the effect of your behavior should allow you to move forward. Last but not least, somebody is definitely going to be in separation. Looking back on the times that you've both shared, reminiscing, and just wanting to be more and more devoted to you in the month of March. A dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal is going to be coming back to want to reconcile. Um, I'm also seeing someone needing to take an updated love language test, including me. Um, learning your love language. So everybody's love languages as they get older changes. So your love language two years ago could be totally different from now. So it's important to get to know yourself more and take you a love language test and updated one. If you already taken one probably over a year or two ago and start relearning the different ways that you actually now, um, deserve to love yourself in because you know, People are changing and evolving, and you are one of them. So, for the month of March, Spirit is saying that um, learning and understanding your language and their love language will be essential in order to meet you both's emotional needs. All right? So, that's really important. I'm really excited for this message because it looks like a lot of you guys in this collective have been maturing, have been growing, have becoming more and more successful at managing challenges when they arise. So I give you your I give my hats off to those who have been focusing more on like I said the energy instead of the actions behind why people do the way do things the way that they do and spirit is like basically showing me that there is a sun sign who is really wrapped up into themselves and spirit is saying to keep it up because the more you focus on yourself the less you disappoint yourself 909 just showed up the more that you allow yourself to be like, so say, for example, your person starts cutting up in the connection, but see, you've been so involved and, and so encapsulated with yourself, worried about yourself and your well-being that whatever that they do, it has no effect because your energy wasn't all, all that into them anyway, because you knew that in your heart, you had work to do on yourself. It's okay to be selfish sometime with your energy and your time, because guess what? Time is money and I got to tell everybody, we're adults. Like, we can't keep pushing out so much energy in people when they're not even doing the same for, for us, you know. So, make sure that you are focusing on that. So, let me pull out a couple of bit of, let me pull out some tarot cards to get some last bit of messages before I end this video. 
and then we're gonna just go ahead and end it here because it looks like the messages i'm hearing is very well received from spirit uh and very much so given out by spirit so yeah so we got the hierophant so commitment is here like for those who are seeking commitment it's coming like Somebody is really wanting something long term for the month of March. And it will happen. The four of swords energy is showing me that somebody needs to just focus on resting and healing for this month. Because it's going to be needed. Because the energy that you've lost in this connection needs to be used for other things in regards to financial matters. Mm, financial matters. Ten of Pentacles. Come on, bro. All right. Ten of Pentacles. So for the month of March, like money is going to be looking real, really, 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 really good. And spirit just wants you to solely focus on your well-being. And because in order to operate from your highest self, you need energy, you know, and energy comes from resting and drinking your water and eating healthy. The name of short swords is showing me, is showing me that somebody is actually going to try to come back at you with a high pace energy fast paced moving energy they're gonna come at you at all costs so if you are in separation it's looking like somebody's wanting to reconcile somebody's wanting to prove a point whether it's like a good point or bad point or a neutral point someone's coming back to prove a point of some sort so you got to be energetically in alignment to receive it or to reject it however you need to but rest is needed for this time one of chalices, so that means the Ace of Cups. So it's showing me a new relationship is on the arise. Somebody could even be finding out that they're pregnant. Um, and someone could be also deep into their emotions for this month of March. So fire signs, get ready because change is coming. And with the two of cups at the oh sorry, the two of swords at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing a heart to heart conversation being had. It's the less about indecis indecision. Indec uh, indecisiveness but it's more about a confrontation a conversation that needs to be had to help avoid further confusion in the future so i hope that this reading resonates please like comment subscribe check out my comment my pinned comment for the rules for the monthly uh reading giveaways your chances are very very high right now to win a free reading from me because my channel is growing um slowly but steady and I'm predicting by next year I'll be in the millions. So um if you want, like, hey, catch on now. Get get your chance to get a free reading now because I'm predicting that my months will be very, very booked in these coming weeks. And it's gonna be very, very hard to book your session, all right? And so I'm I'm really happy to assist you along your journey as your spiritual advisor. And look at book a reading at www.mysticintellect.com. I am going to be launching a sale 50% off. I'm I'm thinking on all my readings right now. So make sure that you are taking this opportunity to book your reading. And to invest in yourself, invest in your future, all right? Have a beautiful day.